Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. We've had a lot of discussions on this channel in the past two to three months, maybe even longer than that, going back all the way to the summer about what the right amount of compensation is, especially given that Kabamon originally said, look, we're giving you this compensation because the game is temporarily broken and the game will no longer be broken, hopefully by November, when we do basically two different heavy patches in October and November. Well, spoiler alert, for some people, the game is as broken for them as ever. Now, the problem is, and Kabam Mike's addressed this in the forums, for some people, the game isn't broken at all. So you have some people that Kabam is kind of a little bitter to because they're just getting all this compensation and they are playing a fixed game. And then you have a lot of other people who are saying, look, you said that the compensation was going to be because it was going to be fixed, and it's not fixed at all. So it's got to be a nightmare, and given that there are so many different Android devices and even different iterations of iPhones, you just never know. But with that being said, Titan1897 reached out to me this week, and I'm finally able to take the time and have the time to cover this forum post about the continued gameplay issues and compensation. Now, he is so passionate about this that he's written up a forum post that I think uh, some people, maybe not everybody, you know, everybody can't agree on if the sky is blue at this point in our society. So, uh, but, but a good portion of people might feel the way he has felt and, uh, we'll check it out and you can decide for yourself. Hello everyone. Hope you are, you all are having a good day. As many of us know, the game is still having many bugs and issues for a long time now. We were told that by this month, the bugs will be fixed, but they still haven't been fixed. And also, new bugs are being found by many of us every week. While a good amount of us have left, as in left the game, many of us are still playing the game and supporting Kabam. We are desperately waiting for the game to be fixed and be in its glory again as how it was before. The MCOC player base is such that even though we face many difficulties on a day-to-day -day basis in the game due to the bugs and difficulty levels of the fights, we still hang on to the game because we like it. We think that Kabam understands us, but they don't. They get such a great player base, and what we get from them is, number one, continued gameplay issues, which make content a lot more harder to complete. Number two, even more bugs as time passes. Number three, compensation, which isn't really compensation, but just a way for Kabam to make us quiet. We don't get the single player revives from them that we actually are supposed to get as compensation. I'm guessing he says that weekly, because we do get a few monthly at least the last two months when we've downloaded the new patch we get the amount of revives and potions from them each month uh, which is actually equivalent to a week's compensation so he thinks there should be four times the compensation for those and you know that's been a pretty consistent point for some people we get side quests where the difficulty level is nowhere near the level of rewards we're getting after completing them now this month i have not held back it's the worst side quest of all time at least in terms of difficulty versus the resources that you get. It's the exact opposite of Mutant Treasure Island, which remains my favorite side quest of all time. And I realize that not every month can be that kind of side quest, and every month can have even a, a side quest store where you can purchase certain items that you want. But this side quest just feels like it was a cash grab by Kabam with very little thought into the actual enjoyment of the experience and maximum thought into how you can just take people's money, especially when they're, say, fighting Weapon X. Number five, we are being kept in the dark of when actually these bugs are going to be fixed. They just either take out their anger on us for asking when these bugs will be fixed by telling us they don't know when it is going to be done and that they can't just give us false information, which is lying, but they have been lying to us about this anyway. So it brings a doubt in my mind as to compensation we actually need. We just get an excuse to the fact that it seems like some players aren't affected by this, so they don't want to give compensation to them which will be at their advantage. Now, obviously that's true. If you give players more free stuff, they're more likely to spend their money because they feel like you care. That's what I've always said about Kabam and the small amounts of energy refills, potions, and revives that they're only willing to give once a month right now. They might think it's breaking the game, but Cyber Weekend is next week. The more potions and revives you give people that they can actually use and not just expire in their overflow, the more they're going to be like, you know... It sucks that the game is broken, and I really do believe Kabam, and maybe I'm a naive idiot for this, but I really do believe them that they've just thrown their hands up in the air at this point and saying, we really did think it would be fixed. We didn't think we were lying to you. We didn't think we'd tell you by November all this would be fixed. We just, we, we tried putting out the fire with everything we have, and there are still flames in the house. And un unfortunately, in this analogy, the foundation has crumbled because so many people who made up the original foundation of the game have walked away, especially before Cyber Weekend. 
because they're not ready to give another six hundred plus dollars to the game. All right. Now I do understand that this current situation in the game is affecting all of this. Yes, the pairing controls issue may not have been affecting some players, but the bugs like the Icarus bug, now that's true, Alliance Quest timeout bug, special tap bug, etc. are affecting each and every one of us. So Kabam, if you're reading this, know that I'm a huge fan of the game. And I get it that even you are struggling in fixing these bugs. But just tell us the truth of when these bugs will be fixed, or at least make the rewards of the side quests better and give us the compensation that we all need. Thank you for reading this message. So, you know, I would say I've read some messages before on this channel that have been uh, close to using the Kabam mic like passive aggressiveness or even might contain some choice language. This doesn't have those issues. You know, and I, and I do think it's important for him to say in that last paragraph, I'm a huge fan of the game. Like, not only are we huge fans of the game, but we've spent so much money and time and effort, it's hard to walk away from something that you put that much uh, energy and money into. It just is. I know people who've done it, and then they miss it, and they just start a new account because it's like a part of them, right? Like, there are some days, especially you arena grinders out there, who have to spend more time in the arena than you do sleeping, eating, talking with friends, family, significant others, etc. Like, this is our lifestyle. And so when things hit the fan, it can be easy to be like, oh, I'm done with this, but it's actually hard to, to break that cycle. And it's a casino, right? On top of that, it gives you that dopamine fix in your brain. But uh, Riptide here, agreed, love the game, hard to want to play. Diablord. Uh, agreed, 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 kind of agree. They have told us they attempt a new March, April fix. Oh, I missed that. So they're saying it'll be fixed again in March and April? Well, since it's November. Um, so, some haven't completed any of the event quests, finding a waste of time. No doubt. I just have to say this. Because there are going to be people who, who see this video and every video like this and say, would people just stop whining? I'm tired of people complaining about the game. You know, just be thankful that that the game exists and that, you know, we have something. If you don't like it, don't play it. And while, look, I get that there are people out there who actually seem to enjoy complaining because it gives, like, believe it or not, in the brain, the same pleasure sensors, the same brain reactors, the dopamine thing I'm talking about, you can get that same high from both being really kind to someone and being a bully to somebody. You know, if you see somebody out there who seems like they're like some self-righteous, narcissistic bully that loves to tear people down, like say on the forums, they may not think about it because, you know, everybody is their own hero in their own mind. But they're addicted to being angry. They're addicted to causing drama they're addicted like they get a lot out of it they get pleasure out of it their brain releases the same dopamine as like healthy pleasure i'm not talking about this for those people i'm just talking about this for everybody else everybody else who plays this game and wants to support it and really does feel loyal to it and is burnt out especially just days before cyber weekend sales so titan 1897 i promised you i would cover this and i finally have thank you for waiting a couple days for me to do that uh, have a great rest of your weekend. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I, I I think, you know, if they just gave that weekly compensation, of course, the glory not being in the Alliance Quest and Alliance War compensation kind of sucks too. But, you know, if they, if they just did that, I think players would be a lot more excited to actually give Kabam their money. If you give them an inch, they might give you a mile. You just got to give them an inch, you know?